All right, brothers and sisters, today is another bright new day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. And uh, in today's Bible lesson, we are going to answer this one very baffling question that uh, most Christians always have. And is this question which comes from the book of Hebrews 13 verse 2, which says uh, that uh, people entertain strangers. And uh, we ask ourselves, what does it mean that we should entertain strangers? Because we might entertain angels. The Bible tells us, keep on entertaining strangers. You might one day be entertaining angels. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so this is what we'll be speaking about today and uh, hope you're ready, you're set, you're, you're on a comfortable seat. That's what you're going to be speaking about today. Welcome. So we see the writer of Hebrews, who personally I believe is Paul, Let's not keep on arguing about this one small detail. (laughs) Anyway, the the writer of Hebrews urges believers to show hospitality by offering an extraordinary incentive. He says in Hebrews 13 verse 2, Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing some have unwittingly entertained angels. Hmm... So this encouragement is part of a more extensive teaching on showing brotherly love to fellow Christians. And uh, we demonstrate brotherly love by treating fellow Christians as we would love them to treat us or as we would treat our family members. And uh, just one, one of the ways that believers can do this is by pitching in to care for the needs of a Christian or Christian ministers and the missionaries uh, by showing them hospitality and ent- entertaining them in our very homes. And the first century accommodation for travelers were often, in most time, unavailable, especially in smaller towns. And if lodgings existed... They were typically very expensive, immoral, and and sanitary. They were just some pathetic establishments back in the days. It's not like the way we see it today. And uh, it was much more common for travelers to stay in the homes of a friend or family member. And uh, the Bible tells us that... We should not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. And this passage of Hebrews makes a direct reference to Genesis chapter 18 verse 19. When both Abraham and Lot showed hospitality to some mysterious visitors who in reality were messengers sent by God. Abraham and Lot literally entertained angels. And the author of Hebrews conveys this principle by noting that it's really preferable to open our homes to needy guests than run the risk of offending God by treating his messengers in an inhospitable manner. So, God's servant who always travel about as mission, missionaries and ministers, they always give more blessings than they receive. That, that's for a fact. And uh, we as believers should be generous in supporting them and helping them to accomplish their work. Just like the Bible tells us in, in the book of First Corinthians, uh, chapter 11, Uh, uh, chapter 9 verse 11 it says if we have sown unto you spiritual things this is a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things is it a great thing sorry if we shall reap your carnal things if by others be partakers of this power over you are we not rather nevertheless we have not used this power but suffer all things lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ so you, you, you you see the point here that 
when you try to block them it's it's you're not helping them remember is 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 like uh, you're not helping to push the word of god ahead remember the apostles when they were going to preach jesus told them as you go don't carry money don't carry your bag don't carry things just go just go i'm going to provide for you i'm going to open doors of different people and different people's homes and, and you can be received and you can preach the gospel there and that's how we as christians we should live and we see the apostle paul instructed the galatian church and he told them in galatians chapter 6 verse 6 that those who are taught the word of god should provide for their teachers sharing all good things with them and uh we see that paul explained to timothy that one of the qualities required for a church leader is that he must enjoy having guests in his home first timothy 3 verse 2 and also we see that uh we see jesus upheld the same principle of entertaining strangers he said that whenever we refuse to help a servant of the lord the the needy the stranger the hungry the thirsty the sick the least of these brothers and sisters we are refusing to help him himself go and read matthew 25 from 35 all the way to 45 it tells us uh, i was needy you you didn't come to see me i was hungry you didn't feed me i was this and this and, and i will tell you on that day depart from me because you did not do what i wanted you basically did not show the qualities of a christian guys when we entertain strangers we are showing hospitality to Jesus Christ our lord himself by demonstrating some brotherly love because true love is not satisfied with mere words but expresses itself with deeds of compassion and it opens blessings and also generally opening our homes to visitors and being generous with our possessions is how we prove our love for one another and faithfulness to God that's how we prove it let me read to you uh third john chapter 1 uh from verse 5 it tells us this is about caring for the workers okay The Bible says uh let me let me use uh the King James here is one that I love so much here let me show you uh okay I'm saying verse 5 right um Yes, it says, "Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren, uh, brethren and to strangers which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if you bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, you shall do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth taking nothing of the Gentiles, we therefore ought to receive such as we might be fellow helpers to the truth." Are you a fellow helper to the truth? Are you a fellow helper to the truth? Because that's what the Bible tells us to do. We should be fellow helpers to the truth. And today we can look up uh, for opportunities to entertain strangers by accommodating traveling ministers and missionaries, inviting fellow Christians into our homes for a meal or hosting some anything just even in formal life groups prayer meetings or bible studies because the bible tells us in romans 12 verse 13 when god's people are in need be ready to help them always be eager to practice hospitality that's that's paul urging us and we may never know if by welcoming a stranger we somehow entertain an angel of the lord but we can be sure that by showing warmth generous a uh, Uh, generosity or generous hearted hospitality to our brothers and sisters in Christ we are being faithful and obedient to God's will are you obedient to God's will and that's the end of today's bible lesson brothers and sisters 
I hope to see you in the next one.